How do you feel about all this attention? Um, I don't know. It, uh, I try not to think about it too much. Just trying to go out and play and um, prepare week by week. Just try to get better each and every day. How, how do you think you did uh, and the offense did in game one? Um, I think I think we did good. Obviously, first game, there's always things we can get better at. We're gonna, we've been watching the film. We know that there's things that we kind of killed ourselves on the drive, shot ourselves in the foot a couple times. Um, penalties messed us up, but overall, we won the game. Um, we put some points on the board, and we just, week by week, just keep trying to put more and more points on the board. You had a couple of passes that came your direction that defend, the defenders were able to knock away. Right. How do you respond to, you know, when, when those type of plays happen? What, what do you have to do in those type of circumstances, or is it just defender made a better play? Um, you know, sometimes a defender makes a good play on it. Sometimes you just don't get the right positioning on the like on that fade. I probably could have tried to box out the corner a little bit better, but you just try not to think about it. You try to forget it and just look on to the next play, hoping that you'll get the ball and look into the just look into the catch, look into the tuck, and try to run and do your best. Now you grew up in New Orleans, at least part of your childhood. You left because of Katrina. What's it like looking at what's happening in Houston? For Right, it's definitely, whenever these natural disasters happen, it's definitely, they have a soft, the people that are affected, it's a soft spot in my heart. Um, you know, I was younger when Hurricane Katrina happened. I was about nine years old. But, um, you know, it was tough. Our family had to, our house didn't get completely destroyed, but it got messed up and school didn't start up for six months. So our family made the decision to just drop everything and go to Arizona, live with my grandparents for a while. So. It's tough, and I feel for the, the families in Houston. Um, it's, it's hard, but, you know, they, I know they're strong people. They, they'll, they'll bounce back, and hopefully I just wish the best. Our thoughts, prayers, and concerns go out to them. No decision has been made on where the game is going to be played, but New Orleans has been bandied about as a possibility. If that does end up happening, that would be special for you just in that sense. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, Last time I went back was in eighth grade. So, yeah, when I, growing up, we were always BYU fans, but being from New Orleans, we, we cheered on LSU also. So we have some friends down there that heard that I'm back from my mission playing on BYU. So we're gonna have friends and family from New Orleans, from Utah, from all over, um, on both sides of the spectrum, um, watching me, seeing seeing how the game goes. So it's gonna be an exciting game. With that said, how excited are you playing LSU, having watched them growing up? Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're a tough team. They're solid. They've always been their national powerhouses. So I'm really excited. Second game of my college career to go out and play against them. But um, I just can't wait. I know they're going to be hard hitters, really athletic. But we just have to show our stuff, and hopefully our stuff is just as good as theirs. Uh, you're waiting to film on LSU. Talk about uh, what you've seen schematically and also personnel-wise. Yeah, so they have really athletic defensive backs almost I'm pretty sure one gets drafted in the top rounds of the NFL draft every year. So they're going to have some guys on the team that are athletic. They're going to be tough. They know how to, they know how to play the game. Um, I think we just have to prepare um, in the past game. Uh, as receivers and tight ends, we, we're going to have to be able to get off the press and use our hands to, to get them off of us, find, get some separation during the game. Um, they also have great defensive ends and linebackers. They're, they're big, strong guys. so. We're just working, trying to get the best techniques that we can get on them, and we have to be really physical this game. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to step it up from last week, but just, just fight and do our best. The, the fact that, that we found out that Arden Key is not going to play—that was official today. Does that, does that change anything one way or the other? Um, I mean, I'm guessing they're gonna have a, a second string guy that's probably just as close to as good as him. Um, you know, we can't, we can't be like, oh, okay, great, we're gonna, this guy's out. You know, it stinks that he's out, but. Um, they're going to have guys that are ready to play that are going to want to show their stuff just as bad as he wanted to. So we're going to have to block hard and get a push so we can run the ball on them also. You played a significant role in, your, in this first career game of yours. What was the best feedback that you received after? Um, the best feedback? I don't know. Obviously, the parents are proud. Um, the parents are happy for me, so that's always good. I think the coaches were we're pleased with how I did. And it's just good to know that um, our quarterback has confidence in, in young players, in, in a young tight end and young receivers. So it's just good to know that 
we're going to be getting the looks and we're going to be getting the ball thrown to us. So we just have to keep going out and trying to make plays. Anything else for Matt? How will Verona uh, being out affect your workload moving forward, if at all? Um, you know, it was, it was sad when we found out that Moroni got hurt. He's, he's helped me out a lot. We were gonna, it's gonna be fun working with him in double tight end packages and formations. Um, we are gonna be able to split the field differently and cause mismatches. Um, hopefully as a speedy recovery, but um, I just, there's not much we can do about it. We just have to step up um, and go out there and play. Tanner Balder did a great job last week. Um, we have Hunter Marshall also, and they're both starters from last year. They have the experience. So I think we're just, one of the weapons went down. We're just going to have to have people step up and try to make big plays and try to just convert, make, get first downs and put points on the board. Thanks, Matt.